Texas Chainsaw Massacre is actually based on a real life killer. Like I know the original trailer for the film said it was a true story. It's not really a true story. It's based on a real killer though. Ed Gein, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on my podcast, we did an entire episode about Ed Gein and the uh, influence that he's had on on horror films and horror cinema. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I guess he took, well, they took the whole concept of, because Ed Gein used to like wear people's skin and stuff like that, didn't he? And make clothing out of it. And that's what they took from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, wasn't it? Yeah, like furnishings out of people's uh, skin and their bones. Uh, he dug up graves and stole body parts. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff, all sorts of disgusting stuff that uh, Ed Gein was doing. Yeah. Mm. I mean, looking at Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, I, I know quite a few people that don't like it now because they think it's very outdated. But, you know, you've got to think back in the day, that was, like, very shocking for people, wasn't it? He's trying to get a PG at the time, wasn't he? Did it try to get a PG? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the argument being there was very little blood. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was... I think it was trying to be as real as possible, wasn't it? Hmm. Like, it does have that kind of, like, gritty documentary look to it, doesn't it? Yeah, shot on 16mm film. Yeah. Which, yeah. But it was also slapped with an X rating, which at the time was two ratings above PG, because it was G, PG, R, X, and it was like, whoa, 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 I'm, whoa, whoa, I'm getting X, I want a PG, and like... <laughs> Just looking at it, what, what, why did you get a PG? Well, then again, standards were different there, especially in like American films. You have PGs that are like heads exploding and boobs and things. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, there was stars with the um, chopped off arm and stuff, and I got a U. Yeah. But then again, fantasy. Yeah, that's the whole argument for that one. But, um, yeah, so what do we think to Texas Chainsaw Massacre as a slasher film, which a lot of people have argued it was where it started, but obviously we've already discussed where it started. So what do we think to Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Well, firstly, Texas Chainsaw Massacre absolutely fucking slaps. Um, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, I would put that in with the proto slashes. It's the, you know, one of the precursors to the slasher film, but not the, like, what we consider embodying all the uh, the more rigid tropes of the film. Yeah, if you like slashes, there's no reason for you not to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre at all. There's no reason not to. I mean, if you like, if you're a massive fan of cinema in general, there's no reason to not watch it. Even yeah. though a lot of people say it's like outdated and stuff, I think it still has a significant place in cinema. Like, You've got to think, you know, back in the 70s, this was shocking. Like, this was, like, a really... This was, like, a lot of people thought this was, like, real. Thought it was mm. real, what I was happening on screen. It was an absolutely essential film, uh, whether it be in horror or outside of it, because this came out during the 70s when there was a wave of particularly paranoid American cinema. That's That was the big thing in American cinema was these like paranoia films and Texas Chainsaw Massacre as much as it is a horror film also embodies that like I don't I don't see why you wouldn't watch something like uh, Deliverance or um, even Taxi Driver and then also watch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre I think you would have to watch all of them yeah yeah and it's it's also like if you're a film student as well it's a great way to you know learn filmmaking i think by watching the film because a lot mm. of a lot of stuff in that film is very low budget and like the actresses got like their shins bruised and stuff because they constantly had to repeat the same scenes where like the actress falling over on the bones and stuff like that she got like massively bruised shins and stuff like that now, one of the actors uh He's a guy with chainsaws like, oh yeah don't worry came within like three inches of his face so, wow, I didn't know about that one. That could have ended up very uh, poorly. But most of the actors, I absolutely despise the director after filming. Yeah, that seems to be a case with a lot of them. 
but yeah i think it's a great way to teach people about low budget filmmaking because it's just a prime example of how having a low budget can actually help a film because it does certainly help the texas chainsaw massacre when it comes to you know the gritty kind of low budget feel of it like it almost feels real hmm I mean, I think the scary, scariest thing about it is that it's, it may not have happened, but it could happen, you know. And some of it did, technically. Yeah, yeah, well, technically, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we went to a local slaughterhouse and got a load of uh, blood and animal carcasses. That's just a regular day for you, isn't it, Jeff? So you... <laughs> 